Hey coach, welcome back to this new video. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Every single day, we are putting content out to help you with your business. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content that we're putting out. And also in this video, I'm going to be talking about the biggest problems that football coaches in the UK are facing with their business. So if you are a sports business owner and you have a training business, right, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything we put out on a daily basis. And if you would like to speak to me, if you'd like to schedule a one-to-one -one, uh, call over Zoom, this will be a free 15 to 20 minute call. There's two ways you can do that. Number one, you can visit my calendar in the link in the description below. So click on my Calendly link and you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call when it's convenient for you. And the second way is you can email me directly at makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. If you are a football coach, whether you be in the UK or any other part of the world, make sure you subscribe. And also, if you want to get in contact with me, you want to talk about your business with me or any ideas you have in order to start, grow or scale your business, make sure you reach out to me the two ways that I've mentioned below through the Canonly link or by sending me a direct message to my email. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Coach Leo. I am the sales director here at the company. So today I want to talk about the, the problems that most football trainers are having with their training business in the UK, right? So if you haven't been following our channel, right, or you don't know too much about what Make Money Coaching Sports does, then I'll explain something very brief. Um, my role at the company currently is I work more specifically with UK-based uh, sports trainers. So I specialize more in the UK market, and currently I'm working with a lot of football uh, trainers, football coaches, football uh, slash trainers, However, we do have other uh, clients who are in, in other sports as well. But predominantly, we, we specialize more in the football and that our main clientele is football trainers. So what I want to do today is I want to share with you three very common problems that UK football trainers are having with their business today. Let's say 97% of all uh, football trainers that I speak to on a regular basis are having these either one of the three or all three. Okay, so highlighted are the, the common problems. And what I want to do is I'm going to go through them one by one. I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm going to go through them one by one and I'm going to, to touch on uh, and go into more depth what each of those points mean, right? So the first one is uncommitted clients. Now, 97% of all football trainers in the UK are currently working with uncommitted clients. So an uncommitted client is a client that you're seeing on a sporadic basis. So this might be a client that you're, you're training once every two, three, or four weeks. Now, the reason why they're uncommitted is because they kind of own their schedule with you, right? A committed client is one that you're seeing every single week, right? And when you have a client that you're seeing every single week, ultimately what happens is you get better results, 
So when you're working with an uncommitted client, not only are you getting slower results with that client, but also in terms of, of income, okay, it's going to be slower as well. And it's also going to be unpredictable. Okay, because an uncommitted client has no real commitment to you, right? There's no system set up between uh, the trainer and the client to make that client more committed. So ultimately what they're doing is you're reaching out to them, maybe on a Sunday evening, asking them if there's a day during the week which they're, they're, they're free to train. The parent get back, gets back to you and says, yeah, we're free on Friday evening. Great. Once we get to Thursday night, that, that uncommitted client is texting you or calling you, if you're lucky, and they're, they're, they're making up some excuse why they can't make Friday. So ultimately what happens is if you don't see that client, you don't get paid. Now, the second point and the second problem is most coaches don't have access to an all year round uh, training facility. Now, being in this industry for quite a long time, right, there's three main locations that most private trainers use, either all year round or on a seasonal basis. And those are uh, Power League Football Centre, which is a five-a-side centre for those that aren't in the UK. Uh, Goals Football Centre, which is a, it's another five-a-side chain, which is very similar to Power League. Or if they don't have access to them too, they're either hiring out some type of facility uh, in a school, right? Some schools have access to uh, floodlights, AstroTurf, but it's not very common, right? So, but those three facilities are the ones that most trainers are using here in the UK. And if you go onto Instagram and you, you research uh, some private trainers in the UK who are, are currently doing football training, most of them are either going to be in a power league, a, a goals a centre, or at some type of a school facility. Okay. Now, the problem is that when, it come, when we get to winter and the days in the UK get very, they, they get shorter, right? By 4.30 in the evening, it's already night. It's already dark. And if you don't have access to floodlights, then ultimately you can't train clients. You can't work with clients during the week. Now, what Power League goals or schools tend to do is they tend to prefer working with clubs during the winter. And the main reason is because they are more, there's more of a commitment from clubs because clubs are going to be there every single week, every single evening. And they're going to need to pay for that facility because they might not have access to somewhere else, right? So those training facilities will favor clubs over a private trainer, okay? Now, what tends to happen is the, the most popular time slots during the week will get fully booked with teams or clubs, which means that if you are a football trainer that's doing one-to-one -one or maybe small group training, you might have to move your sessions to later in the evening, maybe past seven o'clock. Now, most parents, especially in the winter, do not want to take their child to, to train after seven o'clock. One, because it's, it's late. And then two, because uh, kids normally have school the next day. So that becomes very difficult for, for trainers to, to, to work with clients Monday to Friday. So most what most trainers do is they don't work with players Monday to Friday. Okay. Now, what they tend to do is that they tend to move all their clients into the weekend. Now, the problem with the weekend is that a lot of kids train with their club teams on Saturdays and also they play matches on Sunday. So if you have a clientele of 30 uh, kids and they are not on long-term agreements, they aren't committed, 
out of those 30 that you're trying to get on the weekend, you might end up training only five. So where you predicted X amount of money was going to come in that, that weekend, only five were able to train with you because the other 25 had other commitments. Right? Weekends are usually the time of the week where kids are very busy, either with their teams or they do other activities. Now, that is a big problem because if you don't have a, an all year round training facility to use Monday to Friday, especially in the winter, then weekends you're going to be up against uh, club training and also other, other kids' activities that may come first before your training. Okay. So the second one is all year round training facilities, a big, big, big problem that coaches are facing here in the UK. Please. Now, the third point is no proper payment system. Okay. So this is really common. And I say 97% of all football trainers in the UK who have a uh, private training businesses don't have proper systems in place. So what is a proper system, right? A, pr a proper system is where you have a business bank account for your business and parents and clients are paying you online and that payment is going straight into your business account. Now, for X reasons, right, some coaches don't want to spend money to set up proper systems. Some coaches are straight up too lazy to set up a proper business account. So what they tend to do is they... The problem with cash in hand is that when coaches get paid, right, there's a tendency to spend that money straight away. So coaches will turn up at their, at their pitch, at their field, wherever they're training on the weekend. They might have five back-to-back -back sessions. They're charging anywhere between, I don't know, 20 to 25 uh, pound an hour, right? They've made a hundred pound that day. If they're charging 20, 20 pound an hour, They've coached five clients. They've made a hundred pounds cash in hand. And what they tend to do is on the drive back home because they're tired, because they're fatigued, they might stop off at a McDonald's or they might stop off at a Burger King or they might stop off at a KFC or they might stop off somewhere else. And there is a, because most trainers aren't disciplined, because most trainers aren't, um, you know, aren't really good with their money, there is a tendency to spend that, that money straight away. Now, what happens is, yes, okay, that is your money to spend. But if you want a proper business, then you, you need to have that money going into somewhere where then you can track it, right? And if your money, if you're receiving cash in hand, and then on the way home, you're spending that that hundred pound you were you were paid, then ultimately by the time you get home, you've probably spent half of that money on the journey home, right? So really, you haven't made a hundred. Really, you've come home with only fifty pounds, and then that other fifty will then get blown out on something else. So ultimately, what it is, it's not a proper business system set up. Ultimately, it's a hobby, right? You're you're doing this as a hobby. Now, if you had a proper system, a uh, payment system set up, right, you would be receiving, parents would be paying you online, which means when you get to your field or your pitch, there's no mention of money at all, right? Parents are paying you beforehand, okay? And when you're getting to that pitch, there's no mention of money at all. Right, which means when you get home, you know that you've been paid, you've completed your training session, and you know that you're not going to blow that money on the, on, the, on the drive home. Now, why you want to have a good proper system in place as well is because when it comes to doing your tax return or when it comes to doing your taxes, 
You want to know what, what came in and out of your business that month. Okay. So if you're self-employed, you will have to fill out a self-assessment. Or if you have your business set up as a private limited company, right? You, as a director, it's your responsibility to make sure that every, every uh, income or every outbound uh, expense is recorded okay, for tax purposes. Things when you have a proper business system in place, and that means opening a business account where your clients are paying you online, and all you are doing as a trainer, you're showing up at that set day, set time, you're, you're completing the session, and then you're going home, and you know that on the way home, you haven't blown that money or that 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 money that the client has given you. Right, so I hope this video has helped. Uh, if you need if you're a football trainer in the UK, you want to get in contact with me, right? I'm, I'll be more than happy to schedule a call with you. In the description of this video, you can set up a 15 to 20 minute call with me. Be more than happy to, to jump on a Zoom call, see where you are with your business, see where you want to go. And if we are a good fit to work together, work with you to, to see if I can get your business to the next level.